This is a really beautiful roof mount designed for a ridge mount on to hold a starlight. It really is a beautiful piece of work. Uh, brick, mortar, something heavy goes in there. They recommend 40 pounds a side. It's got a beautiful cam lock, but you can see other videos on YouTube that talk a lot about taking it out of the box and everything else. I don't care. You shouldn't either. But the one thing that concerns me is that there does not be any accommodation in it for a ridge vent. That is something that sticks out a little high like a mushroom running the length of the ridge that this would straddle. So if you were to install this on the roof, it looks like you'll only get three points of pressure. One on top of the ridge and one on the ends of each side. That's kind of a problem. So we'll see when I talk about making it work because I really want my Starlink. I speak to drilling into these and fastening in a material called Unistrut. Uh, I haven't figured out all the details to that yet. And obviously I won't be able to send this back if I drill it. The one concern I have is that that strut must be vertical, not horizontal. You don't want it to be trapping moisture, especially here in the northern states where you can get an ice dam underneath the rubber mat even. So more on that, I'm getting ready to grab things and head over towards the roof. There you go. Okay, I'm being careful not to fall off the roof while I do this, but as I feared, the ridge mount, the ridge vent, does not work well with the ridge mount. You can see that large gap underneath it. Now, for folks who are wondering, my ridge vent, linear, that is the linear length, is about 14 and a half inches from side to side. It's, uh, I was building a gap, I would put 14 and a half inches in there. You can see that that would add material to the ridge mount here, because that doesn't even clear the vent. Oh, sad. Now, I have it unlocked. I think you can see the wing is up, and you can see how it, it shaped. It wanted to come down. So with that in mind, I am going to go and get some material to put underneath this with the rubber piece there. Rubber down first, then this, then weights, then lock it so that it does work. I need my Starlink and it's coming today, they say. But I also need to hear from Starlink, will they build a commercial off the shelf kit I, rather than build two different ridge mounts, why not come up with, if you have a ridge vent, you need this kit. I, I think that would just might be better. And if it's the only one you have, your customer service reps need to know to tell the customer that it needs help to work with a ridge vent of this type. There's lots of different types, but if you have a ridge vent, you're going to have to deal with it. Anyway, he stands up cautiously. It's a beautiful day and look at all that sky filled with satellites I can't see. It's a beautiful thing. Later. Okay, this is very trailer park, but I really, really want to get this running today and solve problems tomorrow. So my quick solution is two pieces of wood stock that are cut to one inch. They're ripped and they're supporting that outer edge. And I took a little bit of the uh, arc out of the, or I put a little bit more arc into the mount so that it's putting more pressure down on the outer wings here. And it's not likely to damage my roof ridge vent. Uh, that would be a bad thing. So not sure where to go. I'm gonna go get the weight and we'll give it a try. Bye-bye